This is what your Drupal website looks like immediately after it has been installed. You can log in using the login panel on the left, so let's do that now. The login box disappears and the menu bar appears at the top of your page. If you look at the top of the screen, you have a black bar with buttons that let you configure your website. Let's click some of these buttons and see what they do. Help gives you some information about your site and how to use it. Reports help you check your site is running OK and you don't have any problems. Configuration You'll find this useful when you've learned more about Drupal. But if you're new to Drupal, it's a bit overwhelming. Modules Modules add extra functions to your Drupal site. You can add a blog, a forum, etc. There are thousands of modules that you can, you can add to your site. But only add the ones you need because they can slow down the speed of your site, making it take longer for web pages to appear when your visitors click on the link. People The People button allows you to add users to your site. You can also restrict what these users can do on the site. For instance, if you have a trainee in your office and they want to write a weekly blog about what they're learning, you can give them permission to update the blog but prevent them from updating your main website pages. The Appearance button One of the big reasons content management systems are so popular is because it is very easy to change the appearance of your website. When you install Drupal, there are only three built-in themes or web designs to choose from. But on the Drupal website, you can find dozens more free designs. And if you want something special, you can pay a designer to make a web design from scratch. The next button is the Structure button. On this page, you can select the position where you put a piece of content on your page. These yellow boxes show the positions where I can put a block of content in the design I'm using at the moment. A block of content could be text, images, links, etc. The structure link also lets you rearrange the menu link that the site is used to navigate your site. All of these yellow blocks are different positions you can put things in. Menus. <coughs> we can <coughs> we can change menus here. Add a new menu. Do all sorts of other things. Now let's click the content button. This lets you add new content pages to your site. When you have added a lot of content, your site can be your, you, you added, when you have added a lot of content to your site, you can use this page to find any piece of content. You can also delete content using this page. Dashboard. The dashboard button takes you to a page similar to the configuration page. We don't have anything to change on our dashboard because the site is brand new. If you click the little house at the far left, you can view your home page. The grey bar has two links that you can access via the content menu above. These two links, add content, find content, can also be found in content, <laughs> surprisingly enough. But these are shortcuts. Over here, shortcut. You can add your own shortcut buttons here by clicking the shortcut link. Drupal has many options and adding your favourites here saves you hunting around for things you use every day. 
So, if you wanted to add the themes, where is themes? In appearance. But you might forget where it is. So what you can do, you can add it here. Add a shortcut. Do <laughs> put the name there, themes. Click save, and we now have themes in our shortcut menu. We can take it away. <laughs> I'll just show you what that button does actually. Take straight to the themes page because we added a shortcut. You can take away the shortcut by just clicking delete. And now that button's gone. <laughs> right. <coughs> If you want to learn more about Drupal before you get your own business site, you can get a free website at drupalgardens.com. These are good for practicing on, and if you wanted to, you can actually upgrade them so that you can have your own domain name, but they're a bit expensive. But why not give it a try and see what you think at drupalgardens.com. Thanks. Bye.